Hi everyone, welcome back to another video in Karate series. In this section, we will see some points that we would be taking care of in uh, Karate framework. Or uh, you can see the common, uh, most common mistakes that we do in Karate framework. So let's start. So the first common mistakes that usually uh, everyone do in uh, post call, not just post call, uh, post put uh, or any call that uses uh, the request keyword. This is a simple uh, feature file that we have used in uh, one of the previous video. Let me run it. Okay, it's passed and so the most common mistake is some will make a request after the post call like this when method post and request name this one uh, I mean the request payload JSON payload and then we will the, they, uh, verify the status code is 201 so in that case what happens will it work Now, right so it got failed and the failure reason we can see it from here request board is required for a post please use the request keyword <clears throat> so we will be wondering the request keyword is already there in the features file then why it is uh, asking us uh, please the request keyword so the problem is we have to make use this line before when method post so this is one of the mistake that we usually do and it's not just uh, related to request keyword if you're passing any other parameters like unparams or uh, if you're passing any headers anything which is you are uh, uh, writing for the post call or put call or delete call uh, in this inside scenario everything would be written before this particular statement <laughs> and suppose if you are defining all these request headers and all in the background section then it is fine but if you are uh, declaring all these things in the scenario section then everything should be written before the post call now, one another mistake let me uh, ignore this file for now and let's go to our get call next is uh, related to space so we should be taking care of uh, by will be giving space in our feature file so for example one is this one you always have to give a space after star character okay so if you are trying to okay uh, before this let us run let me run it okay it is passed now and now let's see we are removing the space and then again run it this time this call got failed and the issue is javascript evaluation failed expected output expected output is not defined in eval at lane number one so it will not give uh, the exact error what is the issue but it will just show there is a javascript evaluation failed so sometimes it will be for us it would be difficult to find out what is actually causing the issue so you should be taking care of and giving the spaces over here always there should be a space after star again one another thing is here before equal to there should be a single space for example i am giving one more space over here now let's try running see it got failed and what is the error this time the error is no step definition method match found for this one because they are actually expecting only a single space before the equal to character
okay so this time the test card passed and this is for uh, uh, this is for uh, wherever you are declaring the variables or functions or anything here and here also it will be applicable but uh, and here also but here it is fine even if you give double space and then run it is fine uh, no issues right so here it is fine but uh, when you are giving in a single statement then you should be giving only a single space before the equal to parameter and next one is related to some assertion uh, anyway i'll post a separate video for uh, karate assertions and now uh, we will see one of the common mistakes that we do in uh, java assertions so here we can see i'm um, uh, i'm validating the response uh, by reading the external file expected output and the result to dot json is present in this data folder so all the data are there uh, the expected response is there in this result to dot json file of and now what i'm doing is i'm just uh, disordering this uh, fields for example i'm giving the total pages before total let's see what happens whether it works or not see it is passed so there is no issue when you uh, change the order of the main elements in the uh, json in the uh, expected json but now let's see this is an array there is an array data array One, what i'm doing is i'm changing the order in the data array so now after 8 7 is coming let's try it again this time our test will fail so our test got failed it will be an assertion issue the actual data of 0 actual dot actual is id equal to 7 but expected is id equal to 8 so what does it mean you should give uh, the correct order in any array in the expected json but in the main the main fields here in the json uh, main fields you can give in any order but you cannot disorder the fields in the uh, array in the uh, expected json file and we'll see one another uh, common mistake or uh, one thing that we should be taking care of that is uh, while calling the function so when you call a uh, when you call a function which uh, you have written a function over here my function and uh, if you are not calling the function if you are not calling the function it won't perform any data for example i will you can see uh, i think a written a sleeve function over here right so this leaf function we have written in uh, we have written in the background section uh, while running the file it won't call this function it will just load this function not to uh, make a sleep of uh, one second two second and any i mean any duration you have to call that function implicitly okay and if the function is receiving some arguments you have to pass that argument also while calling that function so these are the few uh, things that you have to uh, not in the karate framework or uh, that uh, you should be taking care of thanks for watching and if you have any questions related to this you can post in the comment section and if you have liked this video please like share and subscribe and thanks for watching bye thank you